Welcome to our calming yoga practice. This practice today is dedicated to our changing world because the world is changing a lot because of this coronavirus. And all of these changes are causing a lot of emotions to come up for a lot of people. And a lot of people are feeling scared, worried, overwhelmed, hopeless, stressed. It's just a lot of different emotions that are out there. And all of these emotions and feelings are valid and they are reasonable reactions to our current situation. So all of that's understandable, but holding on to these emotions is unhealthy and these emotions physically get trapped in our body and cause imbalances to arise. And those imbalances increase our chances of actually getting the disease that we're all so scared of. So today's flow is really just focused on changing the physical energy of the body by releasing any tension or just any emotions that are trapped in some of the muscles and just really focusing on creating an energetic shift because when we physically change the energy of our body, well, we're also changing the energy of our mind. So then we will all be more prepared and balanced and ready to handle and take on whatever is to come. So if you are ready for this awesome yoga flow, grab some comfortable clothes and meet me on the mat. So let's begin today's practice with alternate nostril breathing. This breathing technique is very calming and it's something that you can always return to whenever you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. So to do this, we're first gonna start off by grabbing for the fleshy parts of our bottoms and spreading it wide, really grounding that tailbone into the mat. And then you're gonna relax your left arm by your side. You can decide if you want it palms facing up to receive energy or palms down to ground yourself. And we're gonna use our right hand and we're gonna be using our thumb and ring finger. Use your thumb, close your right nostril. Inhale through your left. Close your left nostril. Exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Close it. Exhale through your left. Inhale through your left. Close it. Exhale through your right. And close your eyes here. Inhale through your right. Exhale through your left. Inhale through your left. Exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Exhale through your left. And continue to do this at your own pace, switching nostrils after each inhale. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, release your hand by your side. Keep your eyes closed. Inhale through both nostrils. And exhale through both. And continue to breathe at your own pace. Just focusing on the sound of the air coming in and out of your nose. If your mind begins to wander today, just gently remind yourself to come back to the breath 
just so you can stay here in this present moment. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, blink your eyes open. Inhale, lift the corners of your mouth, send your arms up high. Interlace your fingers and press your palms towards the sky. And just continue to breathe here. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, sink your tailbone a little bit deeper into the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, ground your lower body. Take another big inhale. Exhale, unwind your fingers and slowly bring your arms down to a goal pose, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Inhale into the chest, pushing the chest forward. And just continue to breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, slowly bring the palms together to touch and bring them down to your heart for prayer. Close your eyes and bow your head and say thank you. Right now we're saying thank you to ourself for showing up and thank you to everything that has aligned to create this moment of self-care and self-love. Inhale. Exhale, release your arms. And now let's do some cat cows to awaken the energy in our spine. So stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Inhale, relax the belly down towards the mat and send your nose up towards the sky. Exhale, press the mat away, don't melt your back. Send your nose towards your belly. Inhale, look back up towards the sky, expand, fill up with air. Exhale, curl inward and empty out. And continue to do this at your own pace, just honoring your body's natural breath and your spine's natural movement. Don't force anything here. Just allow your spine to gently open up. Do one more round of this. And on your next inhale, come up to tabletop with a neutral spine. Tuck your toes and press yourself back into downward facing dog. Spread your fingers out wide, press the mat away, suck in your lower belly. Option here to bend your knees if your hamstrings are feeling really tight. Beautiful. And let's just take some deep breaths here. Let's do four rounds of breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Empty out. Inhale. Exhale, last 
last one. Inhale, go all the way up. Exhale, empty all the way out. Take another inhale. And this time on your exhale, step your right foot forward into a low lunge. Use your core muscles to bring that foot through. If you aren't able to, you can always grab that ankle and pull that leg. Beautiful. Take a big inhale. Exhale, release the knee down, untuck your toes. You should feel this stretch in the groin, really working on releasing that psoas muscle, which comes from the inner thigh and it connects to the spine, the lower spine. That muscle is connected to our central nervous system and it tends to hold a lot of emotions and a lot of tension. So we're really focusing on releasing that today. So we're gonna be here for a while. Now, take your right hand, place it on your thigh, and when you feel grounded and you're ready, lift your left hand and place it on top of your right. Gently press your hands into your thigh, stacking your shoulders over your hips. And now focus on squeezing your inner thighs together, creating that inner strength to really hold this posture. We're not looking for anything outside of us to hold on to, to give us the strength. Right now, we're just focusing on finding that internal strength and using it to hold here. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper into this pose. Now bring your hands to your heart, inhale, look up towards the sky, exhale, let it out, you're going to be here for a little bit longer, stay connected to that internal strength, you got this, inhale, send your arms up high, exhale, straighten that front leg, Send your toes up towards your face and slowly lower down for a hamstring stretch and bring your chin to your chest. Again, reconnect with the breath and focus on the sounds of the air coming in and out of your nose. Really stay in this present moment. Don't let your mind wander. You deserve this time to slow down and to release. On your next inhale, ground that front foot onto the mat, walk your hands forward. Come up onto your back toes. Send your right foot behind you and press yourself back into your downward facing dog. And notice if your body feels different. Notice if your right leg feels different from your left leg. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge on the left. Mindfully step that foot through. Again, option to pull it through if you need to. Inhale. Exhale, release the knee down, untuck your toes. And again, reconnect with this stretch and the groin in that hip area. Again, just focusing on releasing that psoas muscle and releasing any tension or emotions that are hiding in there. We're here just to let it all go. Place your hands on your thigh, 
And when you're ready, place your other hands on top. Again, gently press into that leg, stacking your shoulders over your hips. And again, find that internal strength that's gonna keep you strong and steady in this posture. Notice if you're dumping in the hip or just allowing your body to fall. If you're feeling that way, then really just squeeze your inner thighs together and just notice how it feels to bring strength into your body. Just notice how this feels in comparison to just dumping into this pose. your hands to your heart and open your chest up towards the sky a little bit. Stay connected to those long breaths. You guys got this. We're almost there. Inhale. Send your arms up high. Exhale. Straight in that front leg. Send your toes towards your face and slowly lower down with control for a nice hamstring stretch. Send your chin to your chest. And with every inhale, lengthen your spine through the crown of your head. And with every exhale, just sink a little bit deeper into this pose. Just lovingly tell your body to relax. Tell it that it's safe and that it is okay. It is okay to relax. On your next inhale, plant that left foot into the mat. Walk your hands forward. Activate the back leg. Step your, step your left foot back and press yourself into downward facing dog, noticing how the body feels. Straighten your knees and notice if you can straighten them a little bit more than from when we first started. Inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, sink your knees down your heels down. <laughs> Inhale, come up onto your toes. And this time, exhale, sink your knees down towards the mat. Keep your toes tucked. And now gently walk your hands back towards your knees. We are doing this to create pressure in our feet to relieve any of the blockages that are occurring in our feet, and really just to like allow the energy to flow. There are a lot of pressure points in our toes, and we're really working on activating them right now. You have the option to gently rock from side to side, just gently waking the feet up. A lot of us don't do this often, so the feet may be a little stiff, and if they are, that's fine. That's what we're here for. And if you're able to, slowly walk your hands up onto your thighs and place the full weight of your body onto your toes. And close your eyes and reconnect with the breath, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose. Option here to close your eyes to really connect with this moment. Take one more inhale. Exhale. Slowly bring your hands back down to the earth. Beautiful. Untuck your toes. Inhale. 
Exhale, use your core and step the right foot on the outside of your right hand. So both hands should be on the inside of your foot. And now slowly walk your left knee back. Again, we're reconnecting with that psoas muscle and just really focusing on releasing any tension, fear, just any emotions that are there. While you're here, spread your fingers out wide on the mat and press into the mat and send your gaze out in front of you. And notice how this feels in comparison to just like hanging your head. Like I know some people, if you had a bad day, you just wanna like let your head go, but really just lift your head and just notice how this feels and keep your head lifted and stay strong. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper into this pose. Just tell your body to relax. Now, ground your left hand into the earth. Inhale, send your right arm up and over. Make a big circle and point your fingertips behind you. Option to stay here, or option to grab for that foot if you're able to. Whatever option you can take, please take it. Inhale, exhale, release. Just continue to hold this pose and stay here. With every inhale, you're lengthening, and with every exhale, you're telling your body to relax and letting go of any tension. Inhale, exhale, let go of that foot, gently let it come down to the earth. Inhale, bring the arm back around. And on your exhale, gently step the right foot back. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, step the left foot on the outside of your left hand. Walk your right knee back. Beautiful. Spread your fingers out wide and send your gaze out in front of you. Stay connected to your breath. Our breath is so important. It's so important that the yogis believe that the longer your breath is, the longer your life will be. It is also important for today's flow because with, with each exhale, we're really using the breath to break up and release any energy that's trapped or blocked in these certain areas of the body. So on your exhales, like I said, really just focus on releasing. Just let it go. There's nothing that we need to hold on to. Inhale, lift your left arm high, bring it back behind you. Beautiful. Option again to hold here or to grab for those toes. You can notice that this side is tighter or looser than the opposite side. No side is gonna be the same. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, just allow your body to relax a little bit. You guys are so strong, you got this. Inhale, 
Exhale, gently release that foot with control. Inhale, bring the left arm back around. And on your exhale, step that foot back. Beautiful. Now send your knees out wide. Bring your big toes together to touch. Stack your shoulders over your ribs. Inhale, relax the belly towards the earth. Send your nose up towards the sky for modified cow. Exhale, sink your tailbone back down for child's pose. Relax your belly, relax your chest, and finally relax your head. Inhale, lift through the low back, lift through the core. Relax the belly towards the earth. Send your nose up towards the sky. Exhale, child's pose. Sink your tailbone down. Relax your belly, relax your chest, and then relax your head. Again, inhale, lift through the core. Relax the belly down. Send the nose up. Exhale. Relax the hips down, relax the belly, the chest, and then the head. Continue to do this at your own pace, honoring your body's natural movements, really focusing on just moving as fluidly as possible, ensuring that there's no energy blockages in the spine, we just want the body to be able to flow. So take this at your own pace. And just do what feels right. On your last exhale, fall into child's pose and stay here for a moment. Walk your hands closer towards each other so that your forearms, well, so that your arms are near your ears. And then press your palms into one another for prayer. You should feel this stretch in your shoulders. If your mind begins to wander, again, just bring it back to the breath, knowing that you are deserving of this time and that this time is serving you. You are exactly where you are meant to be. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, release your hands down to the earth. Roll your head from side to side, giving your third eye a little massage. On your next inhale, slowly walk yourself back up to tabletop. Come down to a seat. Adjust your clothing if you need to. <laughs> now we're going to do a hip stretch. So you're going to take your right foot and you're going to place it on your bicep right here and then you're going to grab for opposite hands and press your chest 
towards your shin and your shin towards your chest. So this is one option. If this option doesn't feel right for you, if it isn't serving you, then you can take another option. So your second option is to place the left foot on the mat and then to put your right ankle over your left leg. And then you can slowly walk yourself closer in order to feel that same stretch. So for you, you may be right here or you may be closer. Just honor yourself and your journey and do what feels right. So again, come back to the position that feels right for you. Inhale. Exhale, bring your chest towards your leg a little bit more if you can. And just breathe here. And while you're here, just take a moment and ask yourself, what's stopping you from going deeper into this pose? What is it? Is it anxiety? Is it tension and tightness in the body? What's stopping you from relaxing and just letting go? And then even just think about that in life. What are you resisting? What's stopping you from letting go and just accepting what is. Take one last inhale. Exhale, release that leg down. And now let's do the same thing on the opposite side. Again, take your options. Take the position that feels best for you. In both options, Keep your chest lifted, stacking your shoulders over your hips, and focus on pressing your chest into your leg as much as you are pressing your leg towards your chest. You just wanna create equal tension right here. And use that breath to relax that hip muscle. Again, just asking yourself, what's stopping you from going deeper? And what's stopping you from letting go? It's always good to understand what we're holding on to so that we know what's in our way, so that we can let go of what we don't need. One more inhale, exhale, release that foot down. And now send your legs out in front of you. Bring your feet towards the edge of the mat. Send your arms out. Inhale, go all the way up. Exhale. Slowly lower down. Lower as slowly as you can. And 
Relax your arms by your side. Lift your knees and lift your feet, stacking your knees over your hips. And now grab for the outsides of your feet and press your knees down towards the earth, sending your legs out. This is happy baby pose, so smile here. Option to straighten one leg and to straighten the other leg or to gently rock from side to side. Just take any playful movements or any movements you need to complete your practice today. You know your body most, so just give it what it desires in this moment. Inhale through your nose, go all the way up. Exhale, release your legs and your arms down to the mat. Send your legs out wide, about the same width as the mat. And send your arms out wide. And relax. Absorb all of the benefits of our posture today and just notice how your body feels. While we're here, we're going to do a three point breathing technique. Breathe into the belly, pause. Breathe into the low ribs, pause. Breathe into the chest, pause. Exhale, let it go. Again, breathe into the belly, breathe into the low ribs, breathe into the chest, Exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale into the belly, inhale into the ribs, inhale all the way into the chest, exhale, let it go. Just continue to breathe normally here and allow your body to relax. Relax your belly, relax your face, relax your tongue from the roof of your mouth, relax your eyebrows, and just allow your body and your mind to become completely still. If any thoughts come up, just focus on your breath. Focus on the sounds and feeling of your breath.
a long inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Option here to take some wrist circles, some ankle circles, bringing some life into the body. Inhale, stretch your arms up high overhead, like you're waking up first thing in the morning. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. You can gently rock from side to side, massaging that low back. And when you're ready, roll onto your favorite side for fetal pose. <laughs> fetal pose represents rebirth and being reborn after today's practice. Take all of the peace, calmness, and inner strength that you've received back out with you into the world. Plant your top hands on the ground and gently press yourself up to a seat. Option here to keep your eyes closed or partially open. Bring your hands to your heart at prayer. We put our hands at our hearts, representing kind actions towards ourselves and everybody that we meet. Bring your hands to your lips, representing kind words spoken towards yourself and everybody that you meet. And finally, bring your hands to your third eye center, representing kind thoughts and intentions towards yourself and everybody that you meet. Love, the light, the peace, the student, and the teacher in me recognizes and honors the love, the light, the peace, and the student, and the teacher, and each and every one of you. And we bow and say, Namaste. Thank you all for joining me for today's Calming Flow. And thank yourself for showing up today in creating this moment of peace for yourself. This is something that you can always do and you can always return to. I pray that you have a beautiful rest of your day and that everything begins to work in your favor. Thank you. Peace.